just let me say that um, and uh, Bandera is it's incredible why Bandera is even an an, an issue to be even uh, discussed because he was a nobody in, in terms of Ukrainian nationalism. Um, he was the, he became the leader of, of one wing of war in 1940, and then in 41 he was arrested, and they never set foot in Ukraine again. Um, he um, the the people who led one in the World War Two were Mykola Lebed and, and Yuri Shukhevich. Um and therefore you, you, you're right that Bandera never changed his stripes. He remained true to that authoritarian. Uh, nationalist populism. I know that because I grew up in Britain, and that's the only country in the West where they were in power in the Ukrainian community. And and, and uh, whereas in America and Canada, you had more of a, uh, a pluralism, as it were. So Bandera uh, didn't really play any significant role in the forties, and and one wonders if he was such a big revolutionary, why didn't he go back to Ukraine to fight? Um, but that's a separate kind of question. I mean, I, I think that um, on. On, um, de- on, on, on the question of, of Ukraine nationalism. You'd be surprised, David, or maybe you won't be surprised, because conflict and war always changes identity very quickly, as you know. And in the case of Ukraine, we can thank Vladimir Putin for doing that. Um, and today, the opinion polls show that for the first time ever, that more Ukrainians have a positive view of Ukraine nationalism or UNUPA than a negative view. This is the first time ever. And that's moved even into central and parts of East Ukraine. It's not surprising because the war going on. I mean, we shouldn't be surprised about that. Um, but but I, I would I would agree with you about Bandera. I mean, I don't know why he's even he's even a, a topic to be discussed. 